let's make vegan cream spinach with a slow cooker. All right, here's what I did. I got a 10 ounce bag of chopped frozen spinach and I thawed it out and I squeezed it dry and put it in my little four quart slow cooker. And then I added one cup of silken tofu. You know what, don't try to write this down because it, all everything's at the end of this video, okay? I also have the all the ingredients uh, in the video description below. So let's just watch how I put it together, okay? And then I added some milk, some unsweetened plain soy milk, some Dijon mustard that didn't want to stop coming out of the bottle, some nooch, some turmeric, I finally learned how to say it, <laughs> some tamari, now I'll see you tamari. <laughs> Okay, what's next? And then some fresh ground black pepper. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then just stir all that up. Now, this is the first time I made this recipe. So I was going along with the, uh, a, uh, what the book was saying, and I was kind of tweaking it to make it my own. And I realized the, the book said just throw it all in the pot and stir it up and put it there. But, and it, which, you know, the, the spinach looks good I mean, the final product was pretty good, but I think next time I make this, I'm actually going to blend the silken tofu with the spices and like make it all smooth instead of it being all chunky like this and then pour it over the spinach. I think it'll look prettier that way. It'll look more like, you know, cream spinach instead of, this looks like spinach with curdled egg or something or curdled, not curdled egg, but curdled stuff in it. I don't know. I don't know if that looks appealing to you or not, but I was so hungry for spinach and something creamy in my spinach that I thought this looked pretty good. You ever do that? You don't realize something looks kind of weird because you're craving it so bad. It doesn't take, it's, it takes somebody else walking up to you and go, looking at what you're eating and going, ew, what is that? Okay, so uh, I tasted this for salt. Even though tamari was in it, and there's a lot of sodium in tamari. I wanted to see if it, you know, was salty enough, and it wasn't. I, I needed to still add a little bit of salt to this recipe, and I added a little more pepper, because I like pepper on my spinach, and I gave it one more taste. And yeah, I used the same spoon. It's my house, I'm gonna eat it. I'm not serving anybody, so yeah, I double dipped. And then I put that in the slow cooker, set it to high, and let it cook for about an hour and a half. And voila, look, mmm, creamy spinach. This stuff is good. I wanna add it, I wanna make it spicier next time I make it. Um, I think uh, some some sliced pepper, zini peppers would be good. Yeah. Okay, and then what did I do with the rest of my silken tofu? I just wanna show you that uh, I just put the whole package in a one, quart uh, freezer bag and put it back in the refrigerator like this you know and then I know I'll, I have to remind myself to use it and hopefully it won't get pushed to the back of the refrigerator and I don't forget about it and then it gets all funky because it can get funky but anyways that's how I keep it fresh until I forget about it <laughs>